Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB AI Tester Certification. We are in chapter 9 talking about methods and techniques for testing an AI based system and today we'll be continuing with our next segment which is 9.4 A and B type of testing which is something unique about AI based systems. In order to talk about A or B testing type, and of course this is looking like as if it is uh, alpha and beta testing, but it exactly is not. A and B testing is a method where the response of two variants of a program, that is A and B, to the same inputs are compared with the purpose of determining which of the two variants are better. It is statistically testing approach which typically requires the comparison of test results from several test runs to determine the difference between the programs. A simple example of this method is where two promotional offers are emailed to a marketing list divided into two sets. Half of the list gets offer A, half gets offer B, and the success of each offer helps decide which to use in the future. Many e-commerce and web-based companies use A or B testing in production, diverting different consumers to different functionality to help identify consumers' preferences. A or B testing is one approach to solving the test oracle problem where the existing system is used as a partial oracle. Now, A or B testing does not generate test cases and provides no guidance on how the test should be designed, although operational inputs are often used in the test. Now put together, of course, AOB testing is something which is basically to try understanding that if I try to get two different outputs, I'm just trying to compare these two outputs that which one would be best recommended for the people, right? And as we do understand that when we have these AI-based systems, they can have comparatively different outputs for same sort of input sometime. And these differential outputs could be considered into an understanding that what exactly would be the best relevant output at this point of time. In this concern, the example which has been taken here is really interesting. For example, I can advertise a particular training course in two different ways and see that which one gave me more response and what people are more attracted towards and what works the best at that point of time. And this is what I can go ahead and do with the method of testing an AI based system as well in order to understand what best recommends or what best works for the people. I'll just go and do that in a very simple way. Adding further on the same note, of course, ARB testing can be used to test updates to an AI based system where there are agreed acceptance criteria such as ML functional performance matrix, which we have covered in chapter five. Whenever the system is updated, ARB testing is used to check that the updated variant performs as well as or better than previous variant. Such an approach can be used for a simple classifier, but can also be used for testing for far more complex system. Because for complex system, of course, I am not determinant on what exactly would be the output, or if I'm talking about probabilistic things here, that would be really easy to solve that what best would be the recommended thing at this point of time. For example, an update to improve the effectiveness of a smart city transport routing system can also be tested using A or B testing. For example, comparing average commute times for two variants of the system on consecutive weeks. A or B testing can also be used to test self-learning systems. When the system makes a change, automated tests are run and the resultant system characteristics are compared with those before the change was made. I think this is very, very straightforward to tell you that how exactly the system would be very, very helpful or this method will be adding value in terms of coming to a conclusion that what is best recommended at this point of time. So even, you know, the scope of this particular method is just not limited to ordinary AI based system, but we are also talking about self-learning systems as well as any kind of complicated or more far more complex systems can be very well handled using this particular method. Because one way this particular technique is giving you that clarity that what is the desired output which we can go ahead and utilize. Because an AI based system certainly gives you variety of outputs sometimes, but we don't have a surety what exactly would be best recommended and that's where this could be very helpful. Now if the system is improved, then the change is accepted, otherwise the system reverts to its previous state. 
One major difference between ARB testing and back-to-back -back testing relates to the use of ARB testing to compare two variants of the system, that is same system, and the use of back-to-back -back testing to detect defects. So that means it can be concatenated with other techniques too, which would be helpful to come in combination to bring the best output ever from the same technique along with blended approach of other techniques as well. So put together, this is what all about ARB testing is, and I hope you have got a good understanding of the same. So that's all from this particular video team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.